You're saying that I can't have a hairstyle because of your culture? Yeah, Why? Because it's my culture. You know what box means. Do you know it was in Egyptian culture? Are you Egyptian? No, nah, bro, I'm not. Are you Egyptian? Hey, no. Are you Egyptian? No, but doesn't matter. Wait, where's Egypt? Tell me. You know what, bro? Where's Egypt? Dude, go. You have no oh, right no. to tell me Ooh, what I can wear. Huh? Where's Egypt? Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Yo, girl, stop touching me right now. Come back. Get off hey. of me. Come back. Like, you know, make some, make some some shit because me. what the hair I have? That's no reason, yo. I don't need your disrespect. I don't need your disrespect. Why are you filming this? Just for everyone's safety. Now, I'm going to make this video as short as possible because while many YouTubers have already made videos on it, I just want to give my two cents on this subject. Now, this video has gone viral quickly. I saw this on the Anti-Social Justice Warrior page. And while I'm not really shocked that this happened, I would not think it would get this much attention. So, there's this one woman by the name of Bonita Tindo who started following a guy named Corey Goldstein. And started to harass Goldstein by asking questions and touching him while claiming harassment on camera. I will play the clip for you guys for you to, to, um, to watch. So, the very first thing is... I have to point out is that the reason she's blocking his past is because a white man has dreadlocks. Ooh, the fucking horror. I really don't give a damn if someone has cornrows or dreadlocks regardless of gender. By now, we have cultural appropriation at some point. Americans can eat Chinese food. It should not be just limited to just Chinese people. Um, the same can be said for hairstyles. Even if the dreadlocks belong to Africans, which doesn't, that doesn't mean that other countries should not be able to adapt to that culture. We learn from other cultures and make them more human as we learn from each other. The dude is not stealing her culture to be his. He's just using a hairstyle that is used worldwide. Second of all, this woman is harassing the guy. He's just minding his own business. However, this woman has the balls to say not to touch her even though she's pulling him into a conversation that he wants no part of. The debate is pointless and just plain disrespectful. And third, um, what about that bystander who is with Tindom? Why isn't any boy going after him as well? I know he's just some random guy who just, you know, with Tindom, but he's just as guilty as her if for not realizing that Tindom is harassing the guy. Instead, he just stands there and support Tindom like some stupid gay cheerleader. Overall, the video went viral. Police is investigating the harassment, so I will keep a close eye on this topic. Because Gore, Corey Goldstein went out in public and his story has been known. And chances are that with this video, either Tindo gets kicked out of school or she gets arrested and goes to jail. Either way, this cannot go unpunished. I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace to game out.